physics project, we will be looking at this overhead projector. The main parts that affect the visual side that help the visual part function are this 25 watt, uh, 250 watt light bulb, this converging lens right above it with a focal length of 25 centimeters, this large flat Fresnel lens that's kept between two glass um, plates. The, oh, and this has a focal length of 10 centimeters. And then this condensing lens, condenser lens, which is a converging lens that has a focal length of 30 centimeters. And this mirror, which reflects images onto the whiteboard. Wondering how all these lenses and lights work. So first off, you start off with the small light bulb at the very bottom of the projector on the inside. That the light from that hits the small converging lens that's all that's right above. It. That converging lens has a focal length of um, 25 centimeters. So the light is magnified, the light rays are magnified, and they go and they hit that. They're made strong again. And then from there, because the next lens isn't right at the focal length, they diverge and hit the Fresnel lens. Now the Fresnel lens is really interesting because it's not a regular fat um, convex lens that is used to magnify things, but it's actually rather flat with a bunch of kind of tooth-like um, little ridges and a bulb in the middle, a small bulb. And when the light hits the bottom of it, it's spread out. And then it's shot out from all the little ridges in the bulb and it's, it, the light converges at the focal length. But yet again, from this lens to the next lens, the condenser lens, which is also a converging lens, it's, the distance is greater than the focal length. So yet again, the light is magnified and spread out. When it hits the condenser lens, it's focused right to the focal point. And that's where the mirror is. And since the mirror is a plane mirror, it doesn't produce a um, virtual image or anything. There's no risk of that because it just reflects the rays just how they are and it goes onto the whiteboard, which we are drawing on right now. Now we're going to see um, what we just reviewed on the board in live action. So we put the slide on here. Turn on the light. Oh, it's <laughs> not on there. Sorry. Um, and we see that the light under is now on. It's hitting the small lens on the inside, which is doing its converging and diverging. It hits the large fresnel lens, which the light is spread across. And then from all the little um, prisms on the inside, it takes all this image and it focuses it, focuses it to this spot. Then from here, it's focused uh, and reflected onto the board. So for our practical problem portion of this project, we decided to find the focal length, the overall focal length of the entire projector. <coughs> so we took um, the, focal, the object distances and image distances of different places, different tables that the projector was on. And we calculated the focal length of that, and they all came out really similar. So we averaged them, and it came out to be pretty much just at 34 centimeters. Um, and the reason that it's constant is because if this is closer, the projector is physically closer, then you would have to uh, adjust this. It turns off off the top. You would have to adjust this to make it focused from certain, but if you brought it back, this distance would be different. The, X, the image distance would be greater. 
So the object distance would have to be shorter so it could all come out for the same focal length because it obviously has to have a constant focal length because it's an unchanging object. Also, we needed a point of interest for this project. So we decided um, the Fresno lens, which we have reviewed a little bit, but it's nice to take a moment to look at it um, in like, yeah, live action. So um, if we pop it open, you'll see that there is magnification and it's inverted right there, but it's not a big converging lens or anything. It's not a big convex lens. And that's because in between these two metal plates, there's a Fresnel lens which has all these ridges around these um, prisms. prisms. Sorry, all these prisms around it. And at the middle, there's a very, very small little bulb. And so all these focus, take light that's been spread across this, and focus it into one place.